gentlemen uh, good afternoon I'm very pleased to be virtually with you in this tough time the world is facing we must compact our fear and anxiety and lead our life as normal but in a different manner I'm Hisham Murtada professor of architecture at King Abdulaziz University Saudi Arabia before I go into my presentation I would like to sincerely thank Ronald and his team for their great efforts to make this event happen. God plus. My presentation is on the analysis of Domitil Jandal, Saudi Arabia for UNESCO World Heritage Listing Requirements. Uh, Saudi Arabia is very rich with heritage and history, but only five of its historic sites are inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List, and these are Al Hajar archaeological site of uh, 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 Al Madain Saleh in the north, historic Jeddah. A Taraif district, Daraya, uh, Rock Art, the Hail, and Al Hassa Oasis. I need to mention here that you know, uh, after uh, we uh, conducted this research, uh, uh, we, we heard that you know, Dawat uh, al is indeed uh, on the tentative, tentative list uh, that has been submitted by a relevant agency to the UNESCO. So it's a matter of time. To be in the list, so it's there. Uh, there are many Saudi sites, however, that are still not recognized or presented enough and deserved inscription. One of them is Domitil Jandal, which embodies historic and heritage ingredients and potentials to be turned into a world class tourist attraction and inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List. The, the research aims to investigate the historic and urban heritage ingredients of Domitil Jandal and the possibility of its inscription in the UNESCO World Heritage List. The methodology uh, has the uh, three uh, phases, literature reviews, uh, data collection from site survey, and, and analyzing and applying UNESCO World Heritage List inscription uh, requirements. The significance of Domitil Jandal comes from its three uh, major aspects, geography, history, and uh, built environment. Historically, uh, let's go back to the geography. The uh, uh, Domitil Jandal geographically located, located in the southwest part of Ajov uh, Basin, uh, north of Saudi Arabia. Uh, its history uh, uh, dates back to, or uh, dates back to 2,800 years ago, uh, and it passed through different eras of civilizations, uh, from pre-Islamic, uh, the Romans and the Nabataeans, uh, then until modern Saudi Arabia, and there have been so many findings 
that prove the ancient history of the site. Uh, and these are sketches by, done by the German explorer Julius Uting uh, for Domitil Jandel and its castle in 1883. Uh, as I said, there, there has been some excavation work carried out by German teams uh, a few years ago. Uh, archaeological sites of Domatil Jandel. If we look at this picture, we see a plateau or a high hill where are some ancient buildings uh, are almost adjacent to each other. Uh, these buildings are Marit Castle, then we have Amar Mosque, then uh, uh, Dera Quarter. The castle uh, is built in a rocky hill overlooking the town from the south side where the elevation of the castle is around 25 meters above the level of the city. The construction of the castle dates back to several centuries before the Islamic era. Uh, it is believed that Queen Zenobia of Palmyra attacked the castle in an attempt to control Domitil Jandel along, by, along with uh, Taima, which is uh, a nearby city. Uh, this is view of uh, Marit Castle from outside the fence walls. Uh, again, another uh, view from outside uh, the fence. Uh, the castle uh, western fences where the entrance is located. This is the inside of the entrance and this is uh, the external of the, uh, of, uh, the entrance. Uh, <clears throat> the castle is divided into two sections. Civilian section uh, for housing and administration and military section for surveillance, warning and war. Uh, here we see the military section and the civilian section. The civilian section comprises a large rectangular courtyard that is accessed by a broken entrance. It is structurally secured by four round and conical tow uh, corner towers built of stone and mud bricks. On the east side of the courtyard, there is a number of integrated rooms uh, around a secondary courtyard. The military section is a large mass constructed on a high plateau of 620 meters above sea level. It includes five towers and is surrounded by a defensive moat. Uh, it is uh, encircled by a fence of a length of 48 meters connecting its outer and inner, inner walls. Uh, a view of that uh, military section from outside. Uh, the plan of the military section is based on a semi-elliptical floor plan of 48, 42 by 28 meters. Uh, there is a courtyard surrounded by a group of rooms of thick mud walls. The external walls feature small openings for watching and shooting. Uh, the castle facade uh, facades are characterized by conical towers, uh, stone and uh, mud are the main construction materials. We see here the stone, the stone is used in the lower part of the, uh, of the building or the towers and while mud in the upper. Uh, these are views of uh, the towers and external cases, staircases that, that lead to them as well as to the military section itself. Omar uh, bin Khattab Mosque uh, is located uh, uh, at, at the foot of the hill where the where Marit Castle is built. This is the castle. This is the castle, and here we have the mosque. Architecturally, it represents a continuation of the style of the style of early mosque, particularly the one built by Prophet Muhammad in Medina. Its uh, historic architectural sim simplicity has not changed over time. Its plan, uh, its plan is a rectangular shape of 32.5 meter by 80 meter. Uh, it consists of three major spaces, uh, prayer hall, uh, courtyard, and musalla, which is a small prayer room. Again, we see here the plan, the prayer room, the courtyard, and the small prayer room, the musalla. Uh, this is the, the minaret and uh, the gate or the entrance. The courtyard occupies third of the mosque area. It is accessed through the corridor of the entrance. Uh, the floor of the courtyard is covered with mud. The prayer hall is the most important part of the mosque. It 
comp composed of three rows of stone pillars uh, parallel to the Qibla or Mecca wall or uh, the wall that faces Mecca. Uh, the first row consists of uh, ten pillars and the second and third nine pillars each. Uh, the Mihrab is where the prayer leader stands uh, during praying time is in the cent at the center of the Qibla or Mecca wall and next to it there is a member where the the Imam uh, uh, speaks to uh, uh, on Friday uh, prayer and uh, they are similar in shape and each is surrounded uh, by a, a triangular two stone beams. The minaret is located at the southwest uh, corner of the mosque. It is about 15 meters high. Uh, it has a square base and its wall walls narrow inward as it raises up. Its uh, top ends in a semi-pyramid shape. Uh, a Dera quarter, quarter here, is adjacent to Omar Mosque and Marid uh, Castle. It is the oldest neighborhood in Dome al -Jandar. We see here the mosque and behind it, uh, in the background, uh, the quarter. Again, another view showing the mosque, the minaret, then the quarter. Uh, from an urban point of view, uh, this uh, Adira quarter uh, features compactness. It's characterized by compact urban fabric that features attached dwellings and narrow streets and corridors. This, herb, this fabric has produced houses of, of regular floor plans. Uh, there is a network hierarchy. The presence of cul-de-sacs. In the quarter was important for privacy and security. The cul-de-sac is the end of this hierarchy. Uh, the streets and alleys uh, are similar in width and height, as well as the intersections, which are open spaces, barhat, uh, of various sizes. Al-Barha, or plural uh, barhat, uh, acts as a uh, center for a group of houses where men gather and children play, sabbat, is uh, are roofed. There are several spots here, and the dots, as we see in the dots, uh, uh, spots uh, are roofed with rooms to protect uh, pedestrians from the sun. Uh, in the Sabbath, in the Sabbath, uh, the upper room provides a sense of security to the users uh, of the alleys, as their small windows you are used to monitor the alleys uh, below. There are five uh, gates that uh, or entrances facil facilitating the residence movement uh, in different directions. In the middle of uh, Adira Quara, there is a major open space of an area of about 75, 72 square meters. It is a central open space from which all streets and alleys of the quarter branch out. Uh, connecting different parts of the quarter. It is called a rahba, uh, used for socialization and meeting. Architecturally, uh, uh, the quarter uh, consists of a large group of houses called dur. The size of each dar, plural dur, depends on the size and economic conditions of the residing family. The common spaces are the courtyard, hosh, uh, male guest reception uh, section, uh, kahwa, and private spaces of, uh, for sleeping, cooking, and bathing for the residents. This is the ground floor, and this is upper floor. We see here a view uh, of the courtyard of one of the houses, and these are the roof uh, sabbat. The upper floor does not exist now. Uh, another uh, floor plan of another type of uh, houses uh, in uh, at Dera uh, Quarter is smaller with much less spaces, uh, courtyard and uh, several spaces around them with one entrance. And in some cases there are two entrances to uh, some each uh, to each house, one for females and another for males. And uh, this is a view of, uh, of the majlis or the guest rooms of the males, uh, male guests. Uh, the staircase leading from the courtyard to the upper floor uh, the lime, limestone is the main construction material. Mud is used to build the upper walls. 
trunks of palm trees, palm leaves, fronds, and timber were used uh, to cover the roofs of houses and the corridors of the quarry. Now, according to UNESCO, a site must meet at least two out of ten criteria in order to be inscribed in the World Heritage List. So, uh, historic, urban, and environmental aspects of uh, se and selection criteria of 24 sites or case studies already inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List have been compared with those of Dometer Jindal, and the result was as following. Criteria 1 states that the site must represent a masterpiece of human creative genius. In the meantime, the urban morphology of uh, Adira Aquara represents an, adapt an, uh, an adaptation uh, of the community to the surrounding environment. This is reflecting in the urban fabric that consists of narrow zigzag paths that reduce the impacts of the hot uh, climate, uh, create a compact urban form, and enhance social interaction. Architecturally, the courtyard of each house of Adira Quarter is a thermal modifier of the desert temperature inside the house. Criteria 5 requires a site to be an outstanding example of traditional uh, human settlement, land use, or sea use, which is representative of a culture or, or cultures or human interactions uh, with the, the environment, especially when it has become vulnerable under the impact of irreversible change. The buildings of, Arca, of the archaeological site of Dometer Jandal address this requirement. Surrounding environmental materials are used in each single building element. As summary and conclusion, based, uh, based on a field work carried out by the author, this paper uh, attempted to test the historic urban and arch architectural values of the arch uh, archaeological site of the Saudi town of Domati Jandel against the UNESCO World Heritage List inscription requirements. The components of the site mainly consist of the ancient castle of Marid, Omar Mosque, and Adera Quarter. Uh, these uh, three components feature distinct use of local construction materials and spatial distribution that respects surrounding environmental conditions and modify the hot arid microclimate of the architectural and urban spaces. These characteristics are valid enough to meet at least two out of 12 criteria set up by the UNESCO for any site to be registered in this list. Certainly, the authenticity uh, and uh, integrity of this historic site are also supportive. As I said in the beginning, uh, Dometer Jandal is already in the tentative list and soon, hopefully soon, would be uh, registered on the list. Thank you very much.